One of my favorite parts about decorating for the holidays is my Christmas tree. Now, like I said, I don't live in a huge place, so I have a really tall, skinny tree. They call this a pencil tree, and I got it from Target. It looks really great once you fluff it up and put all your ornaments on and make it sparkle and glitter and super fabulous. When you're working with artificial trees, they always need to be fluffed up and fixed and really made to look full. So I'm gonna grab some help. Alex, can you come on in? Thank you. So we're just gonna fluff this up. Fluffing up a tree is really easy. I basically just cross the branches around and sort of make things a little straighter, hide the lines between the tree, and it really makes a big difference. The bottom part needs a lot of love. <laughs> it was really funny, last year I really wanted to get this tree and we had another tree and Matt said, no, we don't need another tree. And when we got it out, it broke. So I got my way. The tree's looking really good, but now it needs some ornaments. When I'm doing the tree, I think it's really important that the ornaments dangle instead of sit on the actual branch. So I just always want to make sure it's not dropping too low. Personally, I gave up on glass balls a long time ago. I like these shatter resistant ones. They look the same, but they don't break. That's gorgeous. I love this gorgeous ornament. It kind of looks like a halo. So I'm gonna use it as the tree topper. Oh, I like that. A lot of people have really specific ideas about how their tree is, but honestly, most of my ornaments I've just collected over time. Some of them are heirloom, and I just kind of pick a mild color scheme and throw them all in here and make sure they look good. I just came across one of my favorite ornaments. So fun decorating the tree, it's kind of like a treasure hunt. This is really special to me. This is my grandfather's ornament, who I, have, I didn't meet because he passed away before I was born. But it's actually a light bulb that he drilled a hole through and it was on a tree since he was a kid. So it's really special to me. We're almost finished and I've got my poinsettias. These are actually from just an artificial bush and you can just tuck them in if you need to fill in little spots here and there. For some reason, every year, these disco balls always end up going on last. Just heaven. Just heaven. Here's the tree, it's all done. This little pencil tree from Target looks amazing. I love the layering with all the different kinds of ornaments. We filled it in with the poinsettias. It was pre-lit, which saved us a ton of time. I love my little disco balls. And we're just gonna move it into place and we're good to go. For more great tips for the holidays, make sure and check out the rest of my videos.